I am Trixie Lorena Vasilia from BSIT 1R1. I am Kathleen D. Bahanyo from BSIT 1R1. I am Maria Claudia Eyasmud from BSIT 1R1. And we'll be discussing the societal impacts of computers in our modern day society. History of computing, an evolution and a revolution. It is true that computing continues to change our world. From the exchanging and receiving of information to our working environment and interaction with one another for social or professional purposes. Computation even changes how we understand the world around us. For instances, while computers were first utilized in weather forecasting, just as an effective means of assembling observations and doing computation, today our understanding of weather is nearly totally mediated by computational models. The transformation that is due to computation is often described as digital disruption, a new technology that has a serious impact on the status quo and changes the way people have been dealing with everyday things, perhaps for decades. Every new generation of computing technology has a tendency to produce new sorts of systems, tools, and data types that frequently supersede their four barriers. The evolution of computers technology is more than just a series of innovations. In computing, where new technologies are developing, something richer is occurring. In order to move on to the next platform, computing is building new platforms on which to reinvent itself. The web is perhaps the most revolutionary of these inventions. Independent developments in the accessibility of low-cost, quick computing, disk storage, and networking occurred in the 1970s and 1980s. The personal computers at that time were independent devices that used computation and storage nearly exclusively for word processing and games. The web is perhaps the most revolutionary of these inventions. System administrators could set aside storage to house repositories that could be accessible globally thanks to the declining cost of this. Because the internet was widely utilized as a means of exchanging data and code, in addition to email and chat forums, known back then as news groups, this was in stark contrast to the strict specialized in business-specific systems in use at that time. Meanwhile, the World Wide Web was developed in 1990 by certain researchers, notably Tim Berners-Lee, as a method for storing and disseminating content over the internet. People started utilizing it through the more advanced browsers. They also started to write text expressively for web pages which are publications that are published online. The web evolved into a platform that has changed society as websites become interactive and resources went online. However, it also changed computing. The relevance of standalone computers that relied on local storage decreased as the web took off, especially because anyone can store information and data on the cloud. Examples would be Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, iCloud, and more. There are debatable tales of ever-improving technology, but there are also an arguably story of computing itself being altered by being so firmly integrated in our everyday lives. Human-generated data streams such as those from social media, travel and airlines, financial activities, and traffic are what keeps computers running. This data has changed the, the challenges of the field in a big way, and the products of the data have immediate effects on people. Totally new disciplines of research might be rendered outdated. The discipline does indeed disrupt itself, and as the next wave of technology arrives, it will happen again. Social impact. Like the majority of other technologies, Computer technologies are not socially neutral. Both the our society are impacted by them. Society has affected the, the advancement of computers through the demand of information processing. 
social informatics is the term for the study of these interactions. Computing technology has developed as a tool for addressing particular societal issues. The first computation tools were mechanical calculators created by Blaise Pascal in 1623 to 1662 and Gottfried Leibniz in 1646 to 1716 in 1645 and 1694 respectively to address scientific and navigational issues that emerged as Europe entered a new and more active period of scientific advancement in global trade. In order to automate the waving of pattern cut, Joseph Marie Jacquard in 1752 to 1833 created the Jacquard's loom in 1801, which is perhaps the earliest sort of programmable machine. Jacquard was inspired by early industrial age industrialist ambition to lower the cost of creating new goods to mass production in factories. Engineering and scientific applications grew and complexity were 20th century, necessitating ever more complicated computations. World War II led to the creation of the earliest electronic computers. Since then, a wide range of computing technologies have been developed in purpose to the demand and aspirations of society. Supercomputers, graphics, processors, games, digital video and audio, mobile computing devices, and telephones are just some of the most advanced examples. The first computer were created to automate certain manual processes in research, engineering, and combat. In the coming years, general-purpose computers would be able to automate virtually any information processing operation. Since early computers were so pricey, all of an organization information processing activities were often centered on the one computer it could afford. For instance, organizations that had centralized information processing usually majority of their administrative offices are situated close to where their computer resources are. With the introduction of computer networking and lower cost, many computers Whole enterprises that were previously centered on a single computer were able to reorganize themselves into geographically spread sections. Subsequent advances in computing technology altered how businesses structured employees who execute comparable activities. The combination of telecommunication and computing enable individuals in remote locations to access computers in other areas of their firm. Numerically controlled devices were to pioneer computer aid manufacturing CAM in the 1950s. This and other computer-based automation techniques have been linked to job losses, the need to learn new skills, and the loss of particular talents. Since the middle of the 20th century, Computer-controlled machines have replaced certain job categories and the demand for specific talents. As a result, employees have had to continue working in environments that depend more and more on computers. The introduction of email, the World Wide Web, and the other internet technologies may have had the greatest influence on the social fabric of human society. People in far away location may now interact with other conveniently, economically, and frequently, covertly, the manner that entertainment and education are transmitted into a private homes and public areas has also changed as a result of the internet. Effects 
Psychologists have been interested in observing and analyzing the way humans interact with computers. People use the anonymity that email and other internet technologies afford to construct alternate identities for themselves. People often apply the same rules of social behavior such as politeness toward computers as they would be to other people. Computer's influence on daily life has generally matched computing's impact on social structure, employment, and personal communication. In particular, computers coupled with telecommunication technologies enabled many people to live and work more independently and remotely than ever before. Some observers view this development positively, while others are concerned that the widespread use of computers had led to a lifestyle that contained increasing amounts of work.